hey guys welcome back to my channel um, so today we are gonna talk about what to look for in a potential advisor or you know if you need to change your advisor go for it I'm, I'm walking about today because I'm trying to keep it as informal as possible <laughs> okay anyway back to the video we are gonna talk about a lot of things the number one thing you have to look for is that your advisor shares your research interests if you get an advisor that shares your research interests they're very very likely um, to put more energy into your work they are more likely to be excited about publishing with you um, they are more likely to recommend you um, they're more like you you are more likely to graduate faster because the more energy your advisor puts into you, puts into your work, the more likely um, you are to graduate. Remember, your advisor must share your research interests, or at least your advisor should be should be interested in what you're studying. So your your even if your advisor is not, even if your advisor's active research agenda doesn't really align with yours, your advisor should be curious maybe about what you want to study, what you're interested in. Okay. Because I'm telling you, that's how you're going to succeed. I promise. Okay, your advisor must be hardworking, writing papers, grants, attending conferences. I always tell people, pick an advisor that still has, that still needs to get promoted. So your advisor should, power, should most likely be an assistant professor or an associate professor. Why? Because those, those groups of people still need to go up for promotion. So they need to advise, they need to show um, that they are advising people, they need to show that their students are graduating, they need to show that their students um, are having success. Um, so they're more passionate about students. Full professors, nothing against full professors, it's just that they don't need to go up for promotion anymore. You know, they're older, they're more mature, they've, they've proven what they need to prove. Um, so they're a little bit, a little bit less likely um, to be as um, as vigorous and as passionate as the like, assistant and associate professors. So that's just a tip um, to to consider. Um, your advisor must absolutely be hardworking. Do not pick an advisor that is lazy or that doesn't show up. Your advisor should be hardworking, writing papers. Because if your advisor is hardworking, they're going to bring you into a ton of projects, like writing papers writing grants, research grants, travel grants, and attending conferences. You want an advisor that is super active in a conference. I know my advisor in, during my PhD, she was part of, um, she is part of the American Academy of Health Behavior, and she kind of she dragged me into it, and that helped me. That helped my, um, my PhD process, and that helped me um, with my job, because I, I had met all these people at conferences and you know and she was very passionate and she was like oh you have to meet this person you have to meet that person and so she helped me a lot um, just because she too had this drive and so we worked together perfectly so um, so your advisor must be a mentor so I'm gonna link my the difference between an, just an advisor and a mentor the advisor should also be a mentor your advisor must care about you care about your success care about your personal life not just your professional life any good advisor will ask you about your family about your kids if you have kids um, about you know if you miss home because if you're watching this you're probably an international student or you plan to be a, you plan to move to the US or Canada to study so you you want to make sure that your advisor really cares about you okay and number four your advisor must have open lines of communication you want an advisor that will communicate with you that will be honest with you Advisor needs to communicate with you don't have an advisor that is that doesn't reply to your emails that doesn't care about you the advisor must care about you um, well, you can't force your advisor to care about you, but you want an advisor that actually would communicate with you. Um, and lastly, you want an advisor that would give you thorough feedback. Don't have, don't, an advisor that, you know, let's say you submit something to your advisor and they just format, like just do formatting. 
like format your document. No, you want an advisor that will give you real feedback, not like an advisor that will stroke your ego because or be scared, you know, of giving you feedback. No, you want an advisor that will really give you good feedback because that's how you grow. Real, real, real talk here. Um, it's gonna be hard. Feedback in general is hard, you know, because you put your energy into this piece of work and your advisor is like, bing, write it again. And you're like, oh my God, you gotta be kidding. I hate this guy. But it's good because that's how you get better. That's how you grow. So like in so many of my videos, I always say don't take feedback personal. You want an advisor that would really give you good feedback and push you forward. Um, and you know, and that's it. So the, I think those were five. Those are five things to look for in your advisor. I say I'm able to give this advice because I'm an advisor and I was once a student. So I have two points of views um, and I know that um, I know what works and I have colleagues that you know I, I know my some of my colleagues are so successful with advising and these are some qualities they have I'm not even perfect honestly I'm still working to be a better advisor every time so one one final tip one final tip is that you should your advisor should be loved I know I mean not everyone you know can have an advisor that everyone loves right I get it I understand but that's something to think about when you are um, picking an advisor. If, so for example, my advisor was so loved, right? Everybody loved her. So whenever I say, oh, my advisor was such a person, they're like, oh my God, she's the best. Oh, I love her. That just gives you favor already. So if you have an advisor that does not get along with anyone, that everybody hates, everybody thinks is the worst, it's gonna kind of rub off on you. Um, so. So that's just something to think about. Think about the fact that you want an advisor that's loved and people like, because that's gonna help you as well, because her, the love is gonna transfer into your success. I'm telling you, guys, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. All of these things are the things that have helped me. And so, yeah, so this was just a bonus tip I wanted to throw in there um, before I ended this video or after I ended it, because I ended it and then I thought about this and I was like, oh my gosh, that's another good tip um, for you guys to think about. All right, I'm heading to, my baby's crying, so I'm gonna head out, but all right, see you guys later. Did you subscribe yet? Please subscribe. I wanna get to 1,000 subscribers. Um, and my husband is like, oh babe, that's not gonna happen, so let's prove him wrong. So he's such a naysayer. So let's prove him wrong and get my channel to 1,000 subscribers. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.